everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl becky here how are we doing today i hope we are all good so guys i hope we've all been really well it's been uh, another couple weeks since i made a video and i've missed you and i'm happy to i've been like looking forward to doing this video all week so i'm really happy to be here today and say hi this is actually going to be my last video until i get my surgery done I want to really want to make this like video super special so I want to just sit down chat today have a drink um, talk about the last couple of weeks it's been super crazy guys and I thought I could like do some makeup too um, as you can see I literally have only done like half my makeup so I thought let's do some makeup today have a gin and chit chat like what a perfect video to make before I go away and have my surgery done so guys turn off your cell phones get your snacks get your drinks because it's becky and you time okay let's chill let's have a chat so i'm currently trying to open this gin i got this gin for christmas last year look how cute it is it's like a little gin from m s it is spiced sugar plum but look it's got like i'm trying to I think it's focusing but it's got like little sparkles and stuff in like i love the gins with the sparkles in i think they're really cute Oh, I hate these gins like this. That's, they're so bloody annoying. Can they just be bloody easy to open? You know, it's been like a, a while since I had a drink on camera. It's, it's been quite a long time. Um, not for any particular reason. I just, I'm just not really like a massive drinker to be honest. I thought because this is like my last video before I go and get my boobs done, I thought like, why well, not just have a, have a nice drink and, and stuff. And also I'm not gonna be able to drink before my surgery. They've given me like strict instructions. <gasps> oh! I just spilled it everywhere, oh my God. That was really not clever. Well, that was stupid of me. I don't know why I even poured it that way. That was a bit silly. Okay guys, so. Oh, that's not strong at all, that's fine. So I'm just gonna start now guys by doing my eye makeup and of course doing my lipstick afterwards. And today I will be using my Riviera palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I actually haven't used this palette a lot. I've literally probably used it for like two looks. So I thought, do you know what? I'm actually gonna use this palette. I'm gonna bring it out in today's video because it deserves to be used. It is an amazing vibrant palette. I'd say it's more of like a summer palette or spring palette, but I'm gonna use it because why not? We're here to celebrate, right? Please excuse my dirty palette, but I'm gonna be using this color at the bottom here, which is Cabana, I think. And then I'm gonna be using the one up above it too, which is called Yacht. And then um, the white in the corners too. And I think I'm gonna be using some of the, what's that one called? Inheritance, which is that gold color just to do in like the crease of the eyes too. Let me just have another zip of gin. And let's get going. So guys, I guess starting with the little update I have. Um, so the last couple weeks, um, when I did my previous video, I actually told you guys that I was taking part in a TV show. Um, that TV show was called First Dates. And I just wanna say like the whole experience and how they even edited it was just so good and was like definitely something I really enjoyed watching. I was really worried into how they were gonna um, perceive me in that show and stuff. I was definitely worried about that. And I filmed this TV show like back in 2020. So it was a really long time ago and I kind of forgot like some of the stuff I even said when I took part in it. And um, you know, it's a very, for those who don't know First Dates, First Dates is a very popular dating show here in the UK. And it's televised on one of our main broadcasters here on TV. Um, so yeah, it's a very well-known show and I was definitely just really worried in how they would perceive me on there. So I'm really happy like after watching it, it just was so well and it did like really well too. The feedback I got was so good and it was great. I had like so many people reaching out to me on Instagram too, which was just so nice and was just really nice to know that people were like fully supporting me and everything. And it was just like super nice. So, um, you know, I'm definitely really grateful for that experience. And also like, I'm just super happy for 
the opportunity of being able to go on and kind of express what it's like to be transgender on national television. I was able to almost express what it's like as a trans woman to date and stuff. And obviously on the show I talk and I come out as transgender to my date and stuff. Um, and it was just really nice like being able to do that and actually have people watch and realize that oh my god this is actually a really real thing and this is something that is is happening and that people like myself are going through and it was just nice to be able to kind of show and express that i mean of course not everybody who watched it was supportive of me like guys when i was watching it on tv me and my best friend we were on twitter stupidly and we were looking at all of the um, comments that people were leaving me and um, were tweeting about me and stuff. And honestly, they were like, some of them were really positive, but some of them were like really <laughs> horrible too, like mean. People were definitely mean and were definitely like not very nice. So I was just like, do you know what? Like whatever to these people, I don't even, care what they have to say about me it's you know it's their problem i guess okay so now i'm gonna go in with the inheritance color which is this gold looking color here one of my favorite colors in this palette and i actually use this color a lot with other palette looks too just because i really like the gold i don't really find sometimes putting concealer on the lids like Sometimes you can still achieve somewhat the same look without using concealer. Um, I mean, you always get like a more vibrant look with concealer, but I find if you just build up the product on your eyelid anyway without the use of concealer, sometimes it will just give you the result you want anyway. But yes, anyway, back to the response after I went on that TV show. There were actually a lot of transphobic responses too, guys, which I, which did somewhat kind of get to me a little bit because obviously no one wants to read anything transphobic. But at the same time, I did, you know, just ignore it and you know, obviously not take any of it to heart as I do with any hate I receive. I never take any of it to heart and I do tend to just ignore it. I did actually have some other trans members of the community on Twitter, like really support me and just, you know, say that that, you know people shouldn't be being transphobic and stuff and that it really does go to show that times actually haven't changed that much and you know I'm very thankful for those for those people and and stuff like that but my goodness was there a whole load of transphobic comments on there it was honestly just ridiculous and they're just gonna have like a little gym break too I probably will actually do my hair later I am going out later guys um just going for food with my bestie it's just nice to kind of get with friends and stuff and to like get with family recently because obviously i go for my surgery next week so i'm flying out to turkey on the 11th of february so it honestly is just a week away now it's like super overwhelming and scary and i'm i'm like so excited too like i definitely am so it's just really nice to get with like friends and family before i go and to almost like celebrate this time in my life i guess this is definitely like a new chapter for me like an amazing exciting chapter that i cannot wait to endure and stuff and like it is just such uh, amazing thing happening in my life right now and I definitely am just so grateful for the friends and family that I have that can like support me through this but I also am like shitting bricks too guys I also am like very very scared and, and anxious about it of course so next up guys I am going with the color yacht which I'll show you here which was that kind of like um muskyish kind of brown color just above the first color we used i really hope you guys can see what i'm doing because i always block the camera when i edit back makeup videos i always like scream at myself i'm like oh becky why did you like not look at the camera before you were applying your makeup because people can't even see what you're doing so here's my eye look so far i actually really like it i think it looks really pretty i'm just gonna get my um, blending brush and i'm just gonna blend the middle together just because I don't like it looking so blocky 
So I'm just gonna blend that in together so it blends the gold in with the brown slightly. I also guys really 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 want to quickly say a huge thank you to Madame Glam for sending me a amazing nail kit the other day. They've been reaching out to me for quite a while now wanting me to um, try it out and I finally decided to and I just wanted to say like the colours they provided me were just great. This is no way sponsored or anything so please don't worry about that guys. I did my nails with them on Tuesday and they haven't even chipped guys literally they're proper there's like a proper gel nail kit that you can just do at home and obviously a lot more affordable than getting your nails done all the time in a nail salon they gave me a great lamp they gave me a great collection of colors and I was honestly so shocked by by the results. I thought they looked so good. So guys, if you do want to check them out, you can use the link below in the description of this video. And of course, you can use Becky30 underscore one for a 30% discount off of your entire order. And if you don't want to become a VIP member, you can just click pay as you go. So I am just going to go ahead, guys, and just finish off my eye look real quickly. And I will be right back. Okay, now it's time to pick out a lipstick. I don't really know what lipstick to use here. I'm a little confused in what kind of lipstick to go for. So I might go with just like a quick, easy liquid lip. Like I've got some Kylie Jenner lip kits. I reckon that one might look cute actually. Kind of goes with what I'm wearing. Okay guys, so that is my final look all done. I think I chose a really good lip color actually. I was a little hesitant about this one. I literally applied it and I was like, um, no, I don't think I'm gonna use this. But I went ahead and I actually think it goes really well. Like, I think it looks really nice. So I'm happy with my look today. So yeah guys, um, like I said, this is my last video before my surgery and I'm just really happy that I was able to like squeeze this video in before I go away because I just wanted to say like a, a little hello before I go and because it'll probably be like a couple weeks now again until I film again um, or upload some sort of vlog. But yeah guys, I guess the last thing I just really wanted to say in this video before I close off again for a couple weeks is um, again, Thank you for everything and to just always be strong regardless to, to who you are and to what you believe in and, um, and what you identify as, you know. Um, and I think it's just so important that we all stay strong and that we all endure on our journeys the way that we're meant to and to not always follow suit of others and to just be happy and just be you and just be yourself um and you know if surgeries and stuff are things that you want to do then of course like you know go for them um just as i am next week um and that's just something i really just wanted to say just to wrap up this video and that you are beautiful and that you are loved and that people in this world love you for you you know even if that's not people who necessarily are around you at the moment you know there will always be people out there that will always love you for you and to just always stay strong regardless to the situation you may be in at the moment but yeah guys i guess i will see you in a couple of weeks and um I, I feel like i'm emotional why do i feel emotional don't cry i've just done my makeup um thank you in advance for all of your love thank you again for everything that you have provided me and done for me and i am just really appreciative of it um and yeah i guess i will see you on the other side and i love you so much and and thank you again um so guys i hope you all take care of yourselves i love you all and see you soon bye